Hi, I'm Angela Wolf. Today I want to show you how to thread your serger. This is the Brother 5234. It's fairly simple to thread, but what I do first is I put all of the spools up on top. I run the thread through these knobs right here. You can see a number one and number two. It just wraps around one side and out the other. And just let the thread hang. And then I'm going to start from the right side and thread all the way to the left. You can slide this door open simply by moving it to the right and lowering it. And what I like to do is make sure that the presser foot is in the up position. And also I'm going to lower the knife. It's just a small lever. I lift this out and just lower the knife then you don't worry about cutting yourself. I'm going to grab the first thread and there's a little clip right here. I'm going to make sure the thread goes through there and then through the tension disc and then down. And it's actually numbered. You see number five, six, seven, eight. Just run your thread through each one just like it says. After number eight, when we look up here to number nine, we see a lever here. And when I turn this, it's going to move the looper over so I can thread it. So move your hand wheel until your needle is in the far up position, and then just move your lever all the way to the right. And you can see that this looper came out. I'm going to run my thread. Through that triangle and then thread the eye at the end. Now look back at number 10 and 11 and it actually shows you where your thread needs to go. So I've already threaded the eye and now I need to run the thread to the other side of this looper. I'm just going to use my tweezers and run it. You can see it runs right along that edge. Moving on to the next looper, I'm going to run it through the clip here, through the tension disc. Again, down through number five, six, seven. And then looking at number eight, it looks like I thread right through the eye right here. I'm gonna put my presser foot down, get the needle out of the way here just a little bit. And again, I'm going to lift up my presser foot and just get that thread out of the way, wrapped around to the back side. Make sure nothing's tangled, everything's moving nice and smoothly, and we'll move on to threading the needles. For the right needle, I take the thread again right through this clip, through the tension disc, down, and I follow all of the green markings that are shown on this machine. And so I go to the right of this metal lever go behind this lever here and this is the coolest part of this serger it has an automatic needle threader so I'm going to run this thread up through the metal into number seven give it a little tug so give it a little tug and then wrap around the back side and cut your thread move this to the right meaning the right needle and I'm just going to push this lever down and voila The right needle is threaded. Lift up your presser foot and just slide this thread down with the others. This is the left needle. Again, I'm going to run it through the clip, through the tension disc, following the gold symbols. Back inside of here. And again, I'm just gonna lower the presser foot. I'm going to run the thread up through this metal part into number seven, give it a little tug, wrap it around the back side, cut the thread, and move this lever to the left needle, and push this down, and our second needle is threaded. 
gonna lift the presser foot up, make sure all my threads, nothing's tangled. Going to just engage the knife. Close the box and we are ready to surge. Going to turn the power to the machine on. See the light turns on and let's test our stitch. Make sure you go a little slower just to get started because if for some reason one of the threads wrapped around uh, either of these eyes or the needle wrong, uh, you don't want to break a needle. The stitch looks really nice. Look at the back side. Make sure that nothing's pulling. You do want the thread to pull off the edge of your fabric just a little bit, but not too much. So you can adjust your tensions if needed. And that's all there is to threading your serger. Again, I'm Angela Wolf, and for more sewing tips and tutorials, visit AngelaWolf.com or BrotherSews.com. Until next time, happy sewing.